So with the completed Triforce, it's time to go ahead and face Ganon in level 9 up in Death Mountain. Uh, first, we do need to make a pit stop. In spite of it being a swordless run, we cannot defeat Ganon without the sword. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take this from the old man. Yes, we know it is dangerous to go alone, but uh, here we are. The full Triforce and no sword. It feels so awkward to get the sword there at the very end of the game. So if you all have made it this far, I want to say thank you very much for watching the video. I hope that you all have learned some things about the original Zelda. Um, hopefully if you're thinking about undertaking this kind of run or a similar one, um, this has given you some knowledge on how to approach that. And you know, for those of you just watching, I hope that you can kind of renew your faith and your enjoyment in the game, and maybe give it a replay. It's been just it was an amazing experience for me, and, and just a whole lot of fun. And again, the first game I ever beat as a as a kid um, it took me an entire summer, <laughs> and uh, you know, here we are. We beat it in an, an hour with a. Uh, just tips and tricks and videos and all these guides that, that are on the internet these days. So uh, these challenge runs really kind of renew you know, faith and difficulty of games. Um, but in any case, we're going to head very, very far north uh, across the river up into Death Mountain. Be, care of the, be careful of the Lionels. Um, there's huge damage. And even this portion is super tricky, just getting into level 9. But, long last, here we are. So we start off by heading north, then north once more. I'm gonna reset the bomb counter using the static skull. Bomb the western door. At this point, we have the centipede creatures. They're called Moldorms. Uh, super easy to make short work of with the wand. Now, the hard part is to get a bomb refresh, um, but each of the Moldorms, um, I guess, body pieces counts towards the, uh, the kill counter for the tenth enemy has the bomb. With the Moldorms down, unlocks the western block and a secret passage. Got a room of like likes. Super easy to deal with as well. Uh, be careful not to just run into them like I did. You really don't want them to eat your magical shield at any point in the game, and level 9, no exception. And then we'll unlock the eastern door. A couple blue whiz robes, we'll just skip by those and head east. Then we'll enter the room with the Petra. I uh, don't have to fight this guy. Just be patient and run and unlock the northern door. The old man's going to tell us to go to the next room. Sure. And we'll bomb the west wall. First real challenging room, two regular whiz ropes, three blue. I was fortunate enough to get a time stop there and waited until they were all grouped up to activate that. When they're all dead, you can push the left block and unlock the secret passage. I decided to go ahead and step back and reset my hit counter there. I think I lost track of where I was in the count. Then 
this room of keys super easy to keep track of. super lucky. Magic Wand has a really weird hitbox. It stays active much longer than it looks like it does. The sword may as well, but I don't think I noticed it in this run. So after the secret's passage and some bomb refreshes, we'll head left twice. And this patron, unfortunately, we do have to uh, actually kill. Sorry about the beeping, folks. Same rule applies here as applied for pretty much the entire run. Just be super patient. Um, there's no need to push your luck. Risk, you know, resetting and coming all the way back here. With Patra dead, left block once more, and another secret passage. And another wizard. With a decent bomb count, you can be somewhat frivolous with your bomb usage. Then we exit through the northern wall. We have yet another wizard. Oh, that was super fortunate to get them all right on the edge there. the middle block, and then finally we have access to the prize of level 9, which is the Silver Arrow. You have to use the Silver Arrow to last hit Ganon, um, so it's not a, not an optional thing to make this trek through um, all the various side passages and whiz robes and all that fun stuff. So we'll push that block back, and go through the secret passage once more. Super mindful of the leg legs, you really, again, you don't want to lose your magical shield. It's not as pivotal at this point, but it definitely helps. Bomb that west wall. And 
you may have to backtrack at some point for, for bombs. If you do, that's perfectly okay. So we'll push the left block after defeating the whiz robes and another secret passage. Just kind of glancing at the map, you can see just how crazy level 9 is. And who would have guessed more whiz robes? we don't have to defeat, we can just bomb the western wall and head through. Another Patriot. Same as before, the terrain's a little bit different. After this picture, we're actually going to go ahead and enter Ganon's room. Now, the trick to Ganon is um, you can use some specific pathing to get him to come at you in the same direction, and there are a few frames where you can stun lock him. Um, I wait here, and then I can see, you know, as soon as my sword hits the wall, it stuns him. So that's my cue to sword again. Um, Pretty unlucky here. I don't think I get the stun lock back, but I did get enough uh, regular hits in there with the sword to manage on this run. All right, after he's stunned and turned brown, we'll break out our silver arrow. Boom. And that's it. So three hearts, no sword challenge, um, defeating Ganon. Rescuing Zelda, just a timeless classic game and the start of an amazing franchise, and thank you all for watching. I really hope you enjoy the run, and I encourage you all to give it a shot on your own, and best of luck!